let's talk about staccato versus legato technique, okay? Now, the word staccato means to play something with a sharp attack. So just a real sharp attack, and typically it's a note that's very short, okay? Legato is a smooth note. You can think about this like uh, think about staccato, like a stiletto heel, like a, like a high heel shoe, a stiletto. Sounds like staccato, so you can think like sharp attack type thing. Legato, you can think about legs, okay? A woman's legs, if they shave, they're smooth, right? Or I suppose a man. All right, so staccato and legato. We've got two different techniques here. And usually when folks are just playing the guitar, especially when they're doing that fretting technique or they're doing exercise one, Dexterity exercise one. What usually happens in the beginning is folks play it something like this. These are staccato notes. Because what we're doing is you hear the note for just a second and then it gets cut off by my finger lifting up. And that's very common because in the beginning we don't want to press down too hard or too much because our fingers are just getting used to this and we're typically really trying to limit our movements. Well, we don't really want that sound. We want more of a sound like this. Where each note runs into the next note. Now they're not bleeding into each other, you know, they're not being played at the same time, but Basically, you're getting your timing down to where when that finger moves, you're picking at the same time. With staccato, you've got a little bit of wiggle room in between each note to get everything set up and pick, okay? Which is not as refined as doing a legato technique, okay? With our legato technique, what you're gonna do is you can, you can just practice the first and second string here, or the first and second fret on the first string if you would like. And the object here is to hold the note down. So we're holding the first note, the first fret down, and then we'll go to the second fret. So something like this. And at first, the main thing that you want to do is you really want to observe, are you doing this? Most people do this in the beginning. And even though they're using all the other techniques correctly, what we would prefer is that the notes are smooth, like instead of we'd like them nice and smooth. And so the way we're going to do that is we're going to keep pressure on that fret all the way until the next note plays. And at that point, we can lift our finger up or you can keep the finger down. Chances are, in the beginning, you're probably gonna keep that finger down because you're not gonna be able to think too much about all the different interactions that are happening. This finger needs to stay down, then the pressure is gonna come down on this one, while this one lifts up, while this one's getting ready. It's a little much, so at first, you're probably gonna end up keeping those fingers down, but later on, you'll probably roll the fingers like that. Okay, easy enough. So that, my friends, is your homework. That is your takeaway from this video. I want you to do this with exercise one and any exercises that we use in the future. You want that nice legato sound because that tends to be a little less natural than just doing the staccato sound. So since that comes naturally to us, that's easier to do, I wanna really get you to where Number one, we're doing something that's outside of our wheelhouse. And then two, something that's more realistic of how we're gonna play. Typically when we're playing solos, we have notes that sing out. We wouldn't go. We typically don't play like that, we sing, you know. Similarly, if we were singing a song, we have these long drawn out notes, as opposed to singing like this, that would be staccato, and that would be weird, right? So the same way here, we don't wanna do that with the guitar, we wanna have those nice, smooth notes. So practice this with exercise one when you get into some of the 
other exercises and scales and that sort of thing. This is going to become second nature to you. It's going to be super easy. Right now, it's going to be a little bit challenging, just like every new thing that we do here is going to be. As you go on, those muscles in your in your in your brain, I say muscles, you know, those synapses, those neurons are going to be firing, they're going to be moving quicker. Your hands, your muscles in your hands, everything's going to be working more optimally as you progress in your learning. But at first it's going to be complex. At first it is going to be a little bit trying and a little bit frustrating. That's okay. You're in great company. Everybody's been through it. It's the gauntlet, if you will. You just have to push through it, do the practice, have fun, enjoy it while you're doing it. And I promise you, you're going to excel at this instrument. All right, let's keep going.